affordable style. How do you know you're actually getting the quality and the best bang for your buck? Today, we're gonna find out. Today, I'm going to be comparing t-shirts that I've bought from ASOS and that I've bought from Uniqlo. I'm going to be scoring them out of 10 for style, quality, price and service. Stick around to the end to find out which one came out on top. So let's start off with style. With ASOS, I bought two oversized t-shirts, one in white and one which I'm actually wearing now in this beautiful uh, off-white shade. The cut of the t-shirt is quite nice. It's got the offset shoulder, so it gives you that kind of cool fear of God vibe. The crew neck cut fits snug around my neck. It's a perfect fit. It's not too loose and it's not too tight. And I also like how it feels on my skin. I quite like it in terms of style, ASOS know what they're doing with the contemporary vibe, it gets a 7 out of 10. I bought two t-shirts from Uniqlo, one in, uh, in red and the other one in a sort of orange colour. Um, both are regular fit t-shirt with a thicker interlock cotton. Um, I quite like the style on this one, it's got this sort of Chinese graphic on it, um, but check out the back, it's got this wonderful print on the back which looks so cool. Um, and then the other orange one has got a wonderful pocket detail which immediately smartens the t-shirt up which means I can actually wear it with trousers and it's a lot more versatile. So I quite like these two t-shirts, I think they're very cool, great colours, fits my skin tone very well. It gets an 8 out of 10 for Uniqlo. So let's talk quality. I've noticed with the t-shirts that I've bought from ASOS that when they're new they feel and look great. After one or two washes the quality of the fabric degrades quite drastically. Um, I also bought a couple of trousers from ASOS and experienced a similar thing in terms of how quickly the trousers bubble and the fabric degrades. Um, so when it comes to quality, the durability really lets ASOS down. It gets a 4 out of 10. I've owned both these t-shirts for over a year now from Uniqlo and I can honestly say that after multiple washes, the quality and the colour of the t-shirts is still in good tact. A bit of bobbling but it's barely noticeable to the naked eye. Uniqlo is known for its quality and in my experience that reputation is well earned. It gets a 7 out of 10. So let's talk price. Uh, I paid £10 each for the two t-shirts that I got from ASOS. That's pretty good value at any standard. Any lower you're going in towards the sort of Primark multi-pack region. So for price ASOS scores pretty well here 9 out of 10. With Uniqlo, the graphic print t-shirt I got for £15 and I paid slightly more, just under £20 for the pocket detail t-shirt. Uh, you're paying a little bit more for the extra quality of Uniqlo, but still in the grand scheme of things, it's fantastic value. Uniqlo scores well here, but not quite as well as ASOS, 8 out of 10. If you want some guidance and tips on how to choose a t-shirt that's right for you, I did a video which you can actually check out now on how to pick the right t-shirt. So let's talk service. I bought both these uh, sets of t-shirts through their online stores. So I'm judging by the usability of the website and the efficiency of the delivery service. The ASOS website is probably the best in the business in terms of usability and presentation. I pay the annual fee for uh, premier delivery, which is only $9.99 a year, which is fantastic value. Unfortunately, ASOS insists on using Hermes as their delivery partner which means that it costs them a couple of smarks because Hermes are awful. Nevertheless, ASOS is strong here, 8 out of 10. The Uniqlo website is aesthetically pleasing. It's classic Japanese minimalism. So you have to pay a premium for next day delivery each time you make an order. Um, and unfortunately, Uniqlo also insists on using Hermes as a delivery partner. So that hurts their score even more. Nevertheless, they still get decent marks here because I really like the website layout, 7 out of 10 for service. Thanks for sticking around to the end guys and I'm going to reveal the total scores unless you've worked it out yourself. So ASOS comes in at a GND score of 28 but the winner in this comparison is Uniqlo with a grand total of 30 for its GND score. These are the first brands to go on the GND leaderboard guys. I'll be doing many more of these comparisons. So if you like this kind of content guys, there's plenty more coming. So if there's any brands or stores that you want me to do a comparison on guys, let me know in the comments below and I'll be quite happy to do a video for you. Honestly guys, it means a lot that you watch this video. Please like the video guys, it really helps grow the channel. Subscribe if you haven't done so and of course, share this with a friend if you think you might enjoy or find it useful. And I will catch you on the next one. Cheers.